Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to be doing a full in-depth guide on the three new Dokkan Wakings on the JP side. Uh, they were actually made available on Sunday um, for DokkanBattleBuilder.com. I wanted to wait till that was available there, so let's go ahead and do it. It's going to be for this uh, Goku Blue, the, this God Goku, this God Goku, um, and the new UI Goku. So we're going to go over all of them and do some best linking buddies and a team building guide for Realm of Gods in this video. So let's go ahead and go into it. Fighting for victory, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku. Leader ability is all types key, plus 3 attack and defense plus 50%. Super attack is Super Kamehameha, causes supreme damage to the enemy. Passive skill, breakthrough, attack and defense plus 90% when facing one enemy. And he gains an additional 50% when facing two or more enemies. Honestly, I don't ever really see this coming into play a lot since most of the events we fight um, are usually like Dokkan exclusives or Dokkan events and they only have one enemy. So you're only going to really get that attack and defense plus 90%. Um, though, like Super Battle Road, if you happen to bring him, he'll get that 140% boost. So that's going to be nice, at least for most of the time until you're down to one enemy. Link skills are Super Saiyan, Saiyan Warrior Race, Warrior Gods, Kamehameha, Prepared for Battle, Saiyan Lineage, and Fierce Battle. He's part of the Realm of Gods category, has max stats of HP of 9786, attack of 7934, and defense of 4537. You can go ahead and pause the video if you want to read the, the other stats if you would like to, or go over to the wiki. Shout out to the wiki, by the way. Um, he does Doken Awaken from this unit. I didn't want to really go too far in depth into these guys. Um, this is the Undokan variant of him. He's kind of like a meth version of his new self. Uh, his passive skill didn't change too much, but it does, did give him a nice defensive buff so that's really awesome and he gets that additional attack um he just open awakens with 35 of the ui medals so that's pretty awesome um he also has a key a 12 key multiplier of 140 percent if you guys pulled him i know i have him on the jp side so i don't i'm not probably not going to doken awaken him i'm probably not going to use him myself he's a cool unit um in terms of best linking buddies he does have a few of them so we can go over here take a look at it real quick um let's see uh, we have the LR Goku and Vegeta up here, the Intelligence ones, the, the TUR variant of them. Um, we have the God Vegeta, or Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, obviously. He links with five link skills, actually. Let's go ahead and translate that to English real quick. Um, so this is what... Uh, Battle Ethic Saiyan, Super Saiyan, God Gentleman, or Godly Power, uh, Prepared for Battle, and Fierce Battle. So it looks like he's getting, uh, what, that 25, 35% attack buff, 700 flat up boost, and 2 key. Not bad for link skills, and it's probably going to be the same thing with this God Goku. Um, Saiyan Warrior Race, he gets, what, that's uh, 35% as well, uh, a 2,500 attack buff, and 1 key. So it's kind of a little bit of trade-off between the two of them. Um, you have this uh, Tech Super Saiyan 2 Goku. Uh, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, LR Broly, TUR Broly, and the other TUR Physical Broly. So, he has some decent linking buddies in terms of people in-game. Personally, the only one I could really see, the only ones that I really see you running him next to in-game are going to be the two God, uh, Goku and Vegeta's, uh, just because he's not going to really fit onto a, a strength team with Broly unless you're running Broly as a leader. And... The other guys, he doesn't really fit on their teams unless you're bringing, like, a, a full Heroes team, then maybe. But uh, overall, these are his best linking buddies in game. When we go over here and take a look, in terms of best strength linking buddies, as I already got showed you guys, five or more for the Brolies and the Gohan. If we drop this down to four link skills, he has a whole bunch more that he can link with. So, he's not horrible at, by any means. Um, I mean, if you take a look over here, he has a Super Saiyan 4 Goku, which he shares four link skills with. Um, that is not in English for me to read for you right now. <laughs> so... It looks like Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Prepared for Battle, and Fierce Battle. So not a bad setup. That's a 25% attack buff with 2 key and a flat out boost of 2500. Um, you do have the Strength Vegeta over here for a nice 4-link uh, four, four skill set. Um, he has, what is it, Super Saiyan, uh, Saiyan uh, the God Warriors, uh, Prepared for Battle, and Fierce Battle. So that's another 35% and 2 key. So that's really not a bad setup. You also have this Trunks. Um, and yeah, that's really about it in terms of who will be running on a, uh, on a primary rotation anyway. Um, for a strength team. Even this uh, support trunks he links very well. So he's not a bad unit. He's decent for a mono strength team. He's decent overall for best linking buddies from multiple teams and heroes team. So he's not horrible. I think he's a good unit, solid unit. Just, you know, I, if he had like immense damage, I feel like he would be better. Or if he had like something on his, pa uh, like uh, an additional onto his super, like greatly raises attack for one turn or something like that instead of that 90% or 50% attack buff on two or more enemies, I feel like he would be a lot more viable and he would get a better rating for me. But uh, he's not a bad unit. He's a good unit. And I would personally run him on a team if I didn't have S tier units. Uh, next one is going to be the godly key within Super Saiyan God Goku. Now he does Doken Waken from his SSR variants, just like the other Goku is. Um, let me go ahead over here, switch, sorry to uh, 
Chrome, there we go. Um, he does Doken Awaken from the SSR variant as well. Um, so he's all right. He's a good unit. He's solid. He does have the First Awaken, which is definitely different than the Agility unit. Um, I personally like the First Awaken better, especially if you have another unit with the First Awaken. One that has a 25% attack buff. You can't go wrong there. The leader ability is all types key plus 2 HP attack and defense plus 40%. Super attack, Dragon Smash. Supreme damage to the enemy and raises attack and defense by 30% for 3 turns. That's actually not that bad. Um, I usually don't like that uh, when you have that pass of that gives you that build up but personally for attack and defense plus 30 percent for three turns i always should be a little bit longer myself but you know what i'm gonna have to say that's really awesome uh, his passive skill, True Saiyan Heart, attack and defense, plus 80% when performing a super attack is pretty awesome. Uh, try to make sure he's the second attacker in turn, because it's only going to be when he performs a super attack, not if he gets 12 key. So you're going to want him to do the super attack before he can defend, if you're trying to use him for blocking. So if you have like two people in the beginning of the round, you don't want him to be the first attacker, because he will not tank as well. Uh, link skills are Godly Power, Shocking Speed, Super Saiyan, Over in a Flash, Warrior Gods, The First Awakening, and Fierce Battle. He's part of the Realm of Gods category. Um, and he has max stats of HP of 10 and 997, attack of 8344, and defense of 3420. His defense really stinks, by the way. It's just horrible. Um, he has a 12 key multiplier of 140%. So, there you go. That's pretty awesome. He Doken Awakens from this guy. And as I've told you guys before, multiple, multiple, multiple videos, use that physical Goku in order to increase his super attack. This guy himself wasn't that bad. We're just waiting for him to get Fierce Battle. This is the physical Goku I was talking about to increase his super attack. Now, this goes for the agility one as well. That's what I'm about to go over. Um, um, so this guy will Doken Awaken from this guy who is an SR, summonable SR. Doken Awaken him from the event where you get all these medals over here, which is going to be the Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods event. So you go to the Battle of Gods event, you get all the medals, the Beerus, the Whis, the Gohan, Goten, Trunks, Vegeta, Videl medals, all of those medals. And you can go ahead and Doken Awaken this guy into this god goku with all of them you need 10 videl 10 gohan 10 vegeta 3 goten 3 tr uh, 5 trunks you don't awaken him into this guy z awaken him to a t u r yeah to a u r uh, once he's a u r you can feed him into this guy actually no where are you i'm going far away his SSR variant, his SSR variant for a super attack increase. Now, you can go through all that or just use Elder Kai's or Grand Supreme Kai's. It's up to you. I really don't know what you guys want to do. But um, whatever you want to do to try and get him up to super attack 10, I would definitely recommend it. Um, in terms of best linking buddies in game, obviously it's going to be these three god cards over here. Uh, this Kaioken Goku, let me go ahead and switch over to the zoomed in mode. Um, so this Kaioken Goku has five link skills. They share five link skills. Super Saiyan, Shocking Speed, uh, God Power, Short Term Battle, or Over in a Flash, and, and uh, Fierce Battle. So they have five key and 35% attack buff. That is really phenomenal. These two are really, really, really good linking buddies. So I would really recommend running them two together um, if you can. The, there's there's the other agility Goku, God Goku card that has a nice buff if you're using dupe system, which I'll talk about when I go over the agility. Um, that's about it. The SSR variant is here. There's really no reason for me to actually have the SSRs displayed here since he's the only one. Um, we have the Vegito Blue for four link skills. These two will link very well together. It's 25% or sorry, 35% attack buff and three key. That's still not that bad, honestly. Um, I think most of these guys are the same thing. Uh, this one is Shocking Speed and Over in a Flash and 25% attack buff. Uh, this is the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. He links for, what, 25, 35, 40, 50%, 50% attack buff and 3 key. These guys are like best friends. <laughs> you definitely want those two together. That's why I love that Bardock. Bardock is so awesome. And then the Ultra Instinct Goku, which is what we're going to be talking about in a little bit. They share, that's what, um, 25%, uh, 30 yeah, 25 plus 30 is, what, 55% attack buff? Um, that's 30, 40, 55, yeah. So 55% attack buff and 3 key. Yeah, these guys are like, the, the, these guys are awesome to link together. I would highly recommend running these guys on the team together if you're going to be running like a Heroes team or the Realm of Gods team. Um, anyway, that's who they link with. And in terms of Mono Strength Team, it, it honestly works out really well because he links well with all your primary units you're going to want to run on a Mono Strength Team. A lot of you like Beerus. He links with three key links. With, actually, it's three or th only three for all of these. But he links with Beerus. He links with Super Saiyan 4 Goku with the Super Saiyan 3 damage reduction Vegeta. We have the Super Saiyan 3 Goku that links with, you know, Super Saiyan 4 Goku's best linking buddy. They share three key links as well. The new Super Saiyan Blue Goku, the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, Super Gogeta, and the Super Saiyan 3 Goku. So he links with three link skills with all these guys. So it's he is super viable on a mono strength team, um, especially because he got that fierce battle. Once he got fierce battle, he had just made him that much better. Otherwise, he'd only be linking with two. And a lot of these guys, he does share a key link. So you're definitely going to want to do that. So it's two key, 25%. Um, let's see. 
50, uh, 25 key and three i'm sorry 25 percent attack buff and three key yeah that's like it's like 25 percent attack buffs across the board except for like the god goku where she gets a full full boost you're definitely gonna need some type of support unit there to make up for the lack of key but that's all what 25 35 percent attack buff and the same thing with this god vegeta in terms of Gogeta, um, I guess it's, yeah, 3 key and 25%. So, yeah, he's not bad whatsoever. Really good on a mono strength team. You could definitely run him. Now, I'm not going to go too in-depth with this Goku because I did do him in my last video when I was doing the Universe Survival Saga team building guide. Um, so, let's go ahead and just talk about him. He has the same leader and passive skill. Um, leader abilities, all types key, plus 2 HP attack and defense, plus 40%. His super attack is different. Limit breaking Kamehameha. Raises attack and causes supreme damage to the enemy. Passive skill, legendary presence. Attack and defense, plus 80% when performing a super attack. Uh, link skills are Godly Power, Shocking Speed, Super Saiyan, Over in a Flash, Kamehameha, Warrior Gods, and Fierce Battle. He does not have the First Awaken, but he does have Kamehameha, which is meh. Um, Kamehameha is more common, but it's a flat-out buff as opposed to First Awaken, which is not that many people have it, but it's a 25% attack buff, so that's real nice. Uh, category are Realm of Gods and Universe Revival Saga. Max stats are HP of 88.20, Attack of 80.89, and Defense of 54.38, with a 12-key multiplier of 142%. The Raise Attack is a 30% attack buff. Um, and the same thing as I said before, the physical god Goku card can be used to increase his super attack. Um, overall, a meh unit. I mean, no, he's not a meh unit. He's a good unit. I don't mean to undersell him. Um, it's just that he's not that viable for a Realm of Gods team if you have the strength one. So I would prefer the strength one over this one, um, especially because his super attack is a little bit better in my opinion. Um, in terms of best linking buddies, he does have uh, the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Let's switch back over here. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, the uh, Vegito Blue, the Kaioken Goku. So those are the three that he links the best with. Six key links for the Kaioken Goku. Now, the reason he links more is because he has Kamehameha, while the Strength God Goku does not have Kamehameha. So it's up to you if you think Kamehameha is actually worth it. Um, then it's Kamehameha with this guy and Kamehameha with this guy. So that's why he has one more link skill with each of these as opposed to the Strength variant. Uh, overall, not a bad unit. You could definitely run him on a Heroes team without any issue. And as you can see here, you could definitely run him on a Mono Agility team without an issue. Switching over here to an Agility Outlook when it comes to best linking buddies. Um, I personally, obviously, most of us will probably want to run um, this Goku if you happen to have dupe system fed into him. Because the God Goku will do more damage or out damage the Kaioken Goku when he has more dupe system fed into him. Um, if you don't have any dupe system, then the Kaioken will definitely win out. Uh, but they share a lot of attack buffs. That's what, uh, 10, 20, 35% attack buff and a 2,500 flat out boost. The thing with these guys is they actually share key links. So they have the same buff in terms of attack, but they share five key. So that makes these two a lot more viable to link together because of the fact that they share that key. So you don't need to worry about a support unit being there to help you out. Really up to you on how you want to run it if you're try trying to run these guys on a team. Um, and then you also have this Goku over here. It's a Super Saiyan 3 uh, GT Goku. Um, he's all right. He has attack and defense plus 90% up on the turn. So if you, I guess you could link these two together. They're not. He's not that bad. Um, it's attack plus 15. So 25% attack buff, a flat out Kamehameha 2500 and 3 key. So... Really not that bad overall. They do link well together. So he has some options on a mono agility team. Um, finally, the all, the new Ultra Instinct or Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku. So this is pretty awesome. Super Dimensional Instinct Goku Ultra Instinct Sign. Leader ability is Realm of Gods category. Key plus 3 HP attack and defense plus 150%. Or Intelligence Types Key plus 3 HP attack and defense plus 50%. Um, pretty awesome minus that Intelligence plus 50%. I feel like they should have probably given it like a 70% buff in my opinion. But I guess Realm of Gods category is pretty OP as it is, so they didn't need to. Uh, I mean, you have a lot of options with that as well. I mean, you could still run Gogeta on that team, LR Gohan. Um, you have a lot of really good units that you can run on this team, even if they don't meet the Realm of Gods category. Uh, super attack is Imperfect uh, Imperfect Instinct. Raises attack and causes immense damage. Passive skill, Instinct Sensation. Attack and defense plus 100% at the start of the turn. Once HP is 50% or below, Awaken, which we're going to talk about in a minute. Link skills are Kamehameha, Prepare for Battle, Over to Flash, Godly Power, Tournament of Power, the first Awakened, and Fierce Battle. That's really, I, I like the first Awaken. That's such an awesome link skill. Um, category, Realm of Gods and Universe Survival Saga. He's really good on both of those teams. Max stats are HP of 10,335, attack of 11,654, and defense of 5890. Uh, max base dupe system is HP of 12,335, attack of 13,654, and defense of 7890. And full dupe system, if you guys were that lucky to get him, all the way unlocked. HP of 15,335, attack of 16,654, and defense of 10,890. He is so OP, it's ridiculous. He almost has like LR stats over here. 
Um, clarification, the Awaken or Ultra Instinct passive skill activates once HP is 50% or below and will remain active for the rest of the fight. Raises attack is a 30% boost. Ultra, uh, waking to Ultra Instinct does not reset the super attack boost gained. Um, and 12 key multiplier is 150%. So that's awesome. That's ridiculous. The power up, super dimensional instinct Goku. Um, this is freaking ridiculous. Raises attack and causes immense damage. What is this? Is this still immense? Yeah. So it's still the the pass is the same, but it's new. I mean, the super is the same. Passive skill key plus three, attack plus one hundred and fifty percent at the start of the turn. Great chance to evade enemies' attack, disable enemies' guard. What the heck? So broken. So ridiculously broken. I just I can't believe how ridiculous he is. That that's just a phenomenal card. Uh, link skills are Kamehameha, Prepare for Battle, Over in a Flash, Godly Power, Tournament of Power, First Awaken, Fierce Battle, same thing, essentially. Um, category, same categories, and that's about it. His passive just changes, so it's phenomenal. Everything else is exactly the same. Um, and let's see, Great Chance to Evade Enemies Attack is a 70% chance. I did not read that before. 70% chance to evade. Dude, that is, oh my gosh. You definitely want this unit. I, I kind of want to go summon for him. <laughs> uh, Raises Attack is a 30% buff. Awakening to Ultra Instinct does not reset. Okay, I don't know why they say that. Uh, 12 key multiplier is 150%. So still awesome. Still an amazing unit. Such an amazing card. Uh, we have a little bit to go over with this um, in terms of like linking buddies in game. These are his best linking buddies in game. The Super Saiyan Four Bar, Super Saiyan Three Bardock is phenomenal. Uh, the Vegito Blue, the Agility Goku is really awesome. The Kaioken Goku, the Strength Tur Goku. Um, he is freaking awesome. These are the amount of key links that they share together. I'm sorry, attack buffs that they share together. Oh, I think I said this before, 55% attack buff and 3 key. These guys are such good linking buddies. And the same thing with this Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. What This one is not 55%, it's 30-40% uh, attack buff and a 5 key support. So that's actually really awesome as well. So they will, if you, these two are linked together, they will always be going off. I mean, you could run the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, and since he's in agility, you get that nice attack buff of 90%, HP attack and defense plus 90%, and they can link very well together if you're looking to do something like that. Um, overall, these are the best linking buddies. Nothing to be, you know, ashamed about. These are all really good units, especially on a mono super team. If we're looking for mono intelligence team, here we go. Three or more link skills. Um, as you know, as I said before, it's a Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. We're going to put him all the way off screen real quick, just because I feel like... You know, you already saw that. You don't need him there. That 4 is going to be bothering me while it's there. Um, we have the Intelligence Super Saiyan God Goku over here who links for 3 key links with or 3 link skills with him. I always say 3 key links. It's 3 links. Uh, 2,500, 15%, and 3 key. Then this, this is the Orb Changer Goku. I just have him here because, well, he does do for 3 or more links. And he's going to be a good substitute if you don't have that Intelligence Trunks. Uh, 2 key, 25% attack buff, and 2,500. So that's not bad. Um, the Goku and Vegeta LR unit and their TUR variant, 15% 2 key 2500. Then you have Vegito, LR Gohan, and the TUR variant of that LR Gohan, which is pretty much they're all doing the same thing. Um, they all get the Fierce Battle, 2 key. This one gets 3 key for over in a flash, and then this Gohan just gets 2500, 2 key, and 15%. Overall, Mono Intelligence Team, he does have some good linking buddies, so you, you're good there. Uh, honestly, again, like I said before, if you have this uh, Bardock, you're probably going to want to run it with him on a Mono Intelligence Team, but it's honestly up to you. Uh, really good setup stuff for you over here. Now, this is every unit that he has available to link with on a Mono God, um, Godly Power Realm of Gods Team. There's a lot. Um, it's all the God Gokus, the Super Saiyan Blue Goku, Super Saiyan Blue Vegetas. Goku Black, Zamasu, Rose, the LR Rose and Zamasu, Vegito, Vegito Blue. Um, the well, the Vegito Blues, I'm sorry, not Vegito, just Vegito Blues, uh, Beerus and Weeses. So every one of every one of those in the game that I just mentioned is available here. Um, I just threw them all on one thing just so that you could see everything that he has available to use. Um, let's go talk about best linking buddies. I know it kind of looks the same, just like they're all clicked on, but they're not. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about it. We're going to start from the bottom because I want to get some rid of some of these. Um, you have these four over here. These are all the evil guys. Um, you have you have Rose. <laughs> you have Rose. You have Merge Zamasu. You have Zamasu and Goku Black. And then Zamasu and Rose. So all these guys link very well. They share very good a lot of link skills together. Um, these are really good setups for team rotations if you're looking for it. Um, again, you're going to have to take into consideration the Ultra Instant Goku, but if you want to run any of these evil guys, if you have the LR Merge Zamasu, I definitely highly recommend running them together in, in uh, sync with either Merge Zamasu, this Goku Black, or sorry, Goku Rose Black, um, or a TUR variant of them. Um, so that's what you could consider doing that. 
Um, if you don't have them, there's a Masu and the Merge the Masu and the Rose link for five link skills as well. Even though he's really OG, he's still a really solid unit. You could definitely consider running him on a team. Um, but this is a really good setup that I really like, so we can go ahead and take that into consideration. Let's well, get them off the field just to clear things up a little bit because there's a lot of junk around here. So, um, as you see over here, now this is a little bit more difficult because all these guys link very well together. Um, as you see over here, we have the two Super Saiyan Blue Vegitos, and we have the two Super Saiyan Blue Gokus. Now, it's up to you. You can mix and, max, ma uh, mix and match them if you like to. Personally, the two agility ones share the most link skills uh, between all of them. So, well, between the Gokus and the Vegitas. So, you can do, what is this? This is Super Saiyan Resurrection F, God Dimension, Super Fierce Battle, uh, two key prepared for battle and fierce battle. So you have what 10%, 20%, 35%, uh, as a 40, 50% attack buff, two key, and a 700 flat out boost between these two. Um, honestly, I would probably do that. I probably wouldn't run this Goku, this Kaioken Goku over here. He does share four link skills though with this Vegeta. So it's what 10, 20, 35%, and two key. Meh, it's up to you. Um, these Vegetas are both really good. This one does 100%. I think this one does attack and defense plus 90%. When it does above 80%. So, I mean, it's really cool. It's really up to you on how you want to do these. Um, I'm going to give you my recommendation. It's probably going to be this. Just because it's a little bit more of a better unit. I would get the Kaioken out of there and the agility out of there. That way you have, you know, you don't have a full agility team. These do share all the same link skills, six link skills. Uh, this Vegeta does do a little bit more damage because he does attack plus 100%. He doesn't get the defense buff, but he at least gets an attack buff, which is freaking awesome. He's going to be doing a lot of attack damage. Plus, you don't have a lot of strength units to run on this team. Well, you do, but... In terms of what I'm recommending, you really don't. Um, you also have this Go uh, Vegito Blue that you could have over here. He links well with this Kaioken Go or well, with the Super Saiyan Blue Goku for link skills. He also does with the Go the God Goku card over here. Um, personally, what I'm honestly going to tell you, if you have these two cards, the UI Goku and the Strength Goku, you're definitely going to run those two together um, in tangent with each other. They're both really phenomenal units. They're going to do ridiculous amounts of damage. Um, and they are going to all link very well together. They're going to make sure that they're getting off supers and that they're giving each other those really nice attack buffs. 55% attack buff is ridiculous. Um, you do have the TUR Vegito Blue, so you could run them over here. Between these two, I'd probably run it like this. Um, the Tech Vegito. Uh, you'd have the Tech Vegito, the Agility Goku, the Intelligence um, UI Goku, and then the Strength Super Saiyan God Goku. And then on the rotation over here, I have Kami. He's physical, he's whack, but he's support unit. Whis is a support unit, and Goku Black is a support unit. Goku Black just does key, but um, at least, but the, the Whis and the Kami both do attack and defense buffs. So they do like key plus two, attack and defense plus 25%. At least that's the Kami. And I'm pretty sure Whis does the same thing. Key plus two, attack and defense plus 20% up. So it's 5% less. But there you go. You get some key from these guys and some nice buffs. So you can go ahead and run them if you want to. Um, I threw this Beerus in here. Any of the Beeruses will link well with Whis if you're trying to do that. You can put them together. Um, this Beerus is just, you know, he's the agility one's one of my favorites. He does attack plus 90% when performing a super attack. Nothing else. Pretty awesome unit. I like him, but you can run him if you want to. But overall, this would probably be one of the teams that I would consider running. Um, outside of that, the only one else that I didn't really mention, because I did mention his uh, tech counterpart, if you're looking for LRs, you could run the LR Vegito Blue instead of this Vegito, if you happen. Happen to have him. A little bit more viable for some of you, because he is free-to-play and you can technically grab him. You do technically need really good units in order for you to actually doken him to this point, but you can definitely run him if you don't have the other Vegito Blues. But um, yeah, that's just my opinion on the matter. I gave you a full in-depth guide on what I think is really good um, in terms of linking buddies and team building. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. What team are you running? Should I add anything else into here? But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you all later. Peace.